Good morning. It is a Thursday morning. We have scattered showers in the area. Some rain coming down to the tune of a quarter of an inch, even a half an inch. Here's right now. This is 745 this morning, and you can see the scattered showers moving across the Bay Area. This is the current image, and I can move it around. You see up towards Grass Valley, uh, Forest Hill, you've got some pretty aggressive rainfall. We'll look at the rain totals in a minute, but this is right now. So this is kind of the main action for today, and you'll see that in the models coming up. As a matter of fact, uh, the, most of the shower activity should be through here by mid-morning. Um, there'll be a, some residual behind it, but the sun will come out. We won't see this constant rain like we're seeing on the peninsula uh, out in Concord, out in Livermore. Again, this is about 7.30, 7.45 in the morning. Um, yeah, just nice to see, right? Because it's that time of year. I mean, this is this line. The models have done a good job with this too, right? Because we talked about that line of showers yesterday. The models have been keeping the rain line pretty much north of the Santa Cruz Mountains. And these are the rain totals over the last 24 hours. But you can see that that's, that's how it fans out there. So when you look at these numbers, these are, this is CNFRC, California Nevada River Forecast Center. Um, and they just do a nice job of getting these remote sites pretty quickly and pretty accurately. They're not always right. Sometimes you'll get an alum, anomalous site. But you see those blues, especially up around Santa Cruz Mountains this time. I mean, that's really beneficial rainfall really beneficial especially for fire season again can't put fire season to bed ever but boy these these numbers again this is uh, it's about 7 40 in the morning 7 47 exactly and you've got a uh, half inch of rain that's fallen up around ben loman over a half inch up by la honda san, san jose quarter of an inch half of an inch down towards alviso Wow, that's awesome rainfall, right? So I'm just looking at these for the first time in depth. And then Fremont and uh, Oakland and those areas, quarter inch. So we're just kind of work our way north. You can kind of pick out your house if you can. Hope you're having a good morning. Um, yeah, nice to get the rain, man. And because it's been threatening. And we've been watching the models throw it up there. And it has been scattery showers a little bit here and there. But this is a little more concentrated as that main rain band moves through. Marin County, Mill Valley coming in at almost an inch of rain in Mill Valley, um, upper Mill Valley, or Mill Valley Upper. What is that? Hmm. That's, I don't know where that meant. Mill Valley, just Highway 1. Oh, okay. Let's just kind of out there. That's just in the hills above Mill Valley, about a quarter of an inch. Kentfield is 0 0.08, very light. And then if I pull back out, you see up in the foothills, up by, up by Roseville, you've got your rain. And then as you work north, this is interesting because it's more more focused, a little more focused down in here, the rainfall, the, the dynamics. Although up north, up around the Trinity Alps, you've gotten about a half inch of rain in some places. Redding's got a tenth of an inch. Again, does it end fire season? No. But is it awesome? Yes. There's the system here. Here is this low pressure system here or this area that's moving through right now. Uh, and the parent low, it lingers around. Now, that's the thing you'll see in the long range model is this low in some iteration or another is going to linger on our coast and kind of dominate the weather pattern. It doesn't look like it's a real wet situation. I was looking at the precipitable water. There's not a ton available at this time, dirt, this, at this time being the next couple of days through the next week. There's sort of unsettled dynamics in our region, which is usually pretty productive for bringing rainfall. Here is the Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe. This is this morning. The showers will get up there. They are starting to show up on the west slope more. Just a beautiful sunrise over Heavenly Valley over South Lake Tahoe. So if you're up early, you get to see stuff like this. I usually don't get up quite this early. I try to get up around 7.30. Um, okay, there we go. There's live camera there. And this is, again, as of about 9, 7.50 this morning. And then uh, Mount Tamalpais. Let's take a peek there. This is, I would expect, some showers coming through. You see the flow. Wow. The inversion's non-existent, right? Because the low pressure has come in. So, hmm. These can't even give me a little trouble later. I'll just have to auto push it and then you'll just see yeah so that's just that's winter man that's awesome and again you know half inch of rain inch of rain quarter of an inch of rain santa cruz mountains 
Mount Tamalpais. That's just golden. And again, for us, beautiful, isn't it? And just for, in terms of air quality, you've got yourself a beautiful, beautiful pattern. And then you see this cumulus cloud offshore here. So the strongest dynamics appear to be moving through now. Temperatures today are going to range. We're going to see lots of 70s. Uh, you know, upper 60s, low 70s. And then as you go further south, south of Modesto, you'll be back into the mid 70s, upper 70s, and low 80s. But nobody is, it's, you know, Southern California, Los Angeles, 76, San Diego, 74, right? You've got some good looking weather. And right now, this area, certainly Southern California, out of the rain mix. So fire danger not being really alle alle alleviated, alleviated. <laughs> It's early, um, but uh, it's it's always good when you get early rains in the north, and that's what we're seeing. So let's take a look at the model. HRRR, this is the model of choice because it's granular, as you know. There is, let's see, so this is this morning. This is about, let's get it up to current times. I'm just going to take it. It's a forecast model, but it's already run its course a little bit. So here's, we are about, about right here, and you can see the scattered showers kind of showing up now this is towards more mid next hour or so you're seeing this that shower activity moving up into the west slope of the sierra nevada up into grass valley and auburn and placerville where it will see so kind of it kind of lights up a little bit here that's interesting maybe a thunderstorm i mean based on the dynamics it depends how much sun comes out there could be a thunderstorm sure there's a chance and then that's all that line really sets up. That's this afternoon. That would be daytime heating and west slope lifting, right? The dynamics. And then this is late this afternoon. This is around four o'clock. And that's, you know, yeah, right? So that's Lake Tahoe. And now we are in the clear here. We should be in the clear pretty nicely. And then we go through and you see it kind of push on. And then you see, look at Redding. This is tomorrow morning, tonight and tomorrow morning. So the dynamic still exists. This is the low here. It's just spinning like, it's kind of like, like you can kind of pick it out in those surface arrows. It's kind of right here. And that whole complex is moving off. And what happens with lows is, this, let's say this is the low here. Everything in this quad, in this quadrant, of the low, I'm kind of on the right side of the low, usually the lower right quadrant of the low is where your strongest dynamics are. And so that's what we're seeing. So we're seeing on the eastern side of these weather systems, of the troughs, of the lows, you're getting your strongest dynamics, your strongest lift, your strongest vorticity, your strongest shear. Uh, and so that's what appears to happen on tonight and into Friday morning. Okay. And we keep going. Yeah, just, there goes the low. You can kind of see it better there spinning off. Okay, that's one look. Let's take a look at the North American, which doesn't really pick up on much. So this is this morning, about now, right? So you see the consistent rain. That is about now. It does pick up on that. And then this is this afternoon. Picks up on a little convection up in the mountains tonight. And then into tomorrow morning. So there's, yeah, so that, you know, that, that, this area here, both models are pretty good on going, yeah, this area looks like it's going to be kind of lit as we go into tonight and tomorrow morning. So we'll see. We'll see. So that's the end. North America kind of backs out. Kind of a weird pattern, though, in terms of instability. This is total rainfall. I'm just going to, wham. This is total rainfall. I'll back it up now. <laughs> this is total rainfall through Saturday morning early morning so you can kind of see it and so far you know it's kind of it's a little off already right because we know we got more rain than that along the coast but just gives you an idea so these are all this is about what they're it's expecting you see a little system from the north peak in towards saturday friday night saturday uh eh, we'll see but that's you know again that's rain a little further south i guess that's what i would look at is that rain line so down towards do San Luis Obispo, trying to get a little rain there. Okay. And then this is the GFS model. And this is today. Not very granular, but it does pick up on, 
Wait a second. Here's this morning. Here's this afternoon. Okay. And here's, yeah, this afternoon. Wow. Yeah, everybody wants this. That's interesting. So that somewhere this evening around 9, 10, 8, 9, 10, that west slope looks like it's going to get kind of lit up. Lake Tahoe. Hmm. Okay. You see the dashed lines, kind of mild weather, right? Because those are the thickness lines. And this is the non-granular model. So I just want to show you, yeah, there's not much else coming. I think there's something. That Saturday system comes in from the north. Yeah, so we're going through time. Now we're all over to the October 11th. Nothing there. Maybe a little something there. That's a little bit of wind there. That's never good if that happens. And then here is... 21st of when of uh, this is uh when is this this is wednesday afternoon and that's october 16th so that looks like it wants october on october 16th for whatever you that looks like it wants to do something and there's a little bit of a wind event but there might be wet enough that it's not a problem okay i don't know lots of models but just use uch triple r today look at the radar we can go right back to the radar and just pull it up and go, oh, there's where the rain is, All right? Sacramento, pretty good bullseye. And you see it's kind of drying out up to the north a little bit, but there'll be more scattered showers coming through. We'll push into, there's the national map. Um, hmm. Of note would be some wind in Arizona, some smoke down in Texas. Those are smoke, or air quality, I shouldn't say smoke, air quality advisories. Um, could be... Just they got a pretty pretty warm day down there. Let's see what they got. They got yeah, they're going to be in the nineties again, so five to ten degrees above normal. So maybe they're dealing with some uh, ozone, car pollution stuff. This is the six to ten day temperature outlook. Okay, right. So nothing where we are, and then this is the rainfall outlook. This starts on October seventh, and today is October second, so it's five days ahead of time through that next week, and then the surf. Swells come up quite a bit. There is a surf advisory, a hazardous surf warning up at Cape Mendocino. Looks wet out on the Great Highway. Looks like winter, man. This is good, though. This is a really, I mean, because we've been waiting for it, right? We've been sitting around here going, okay, it's going to rain. And it did. It rained a little here, a little there. This morning is the first real, like, well, ah, it's, it's kind of raining. And we're getting a really good um, coverage of rainfall. This Pleasure Point. This morning, tides a little high all day down south, down well up north too. So if you're thinking about surfing, ooh, somebody got some snow, Mount Shasta this morning. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Mount Shasta got some snow. Let's see, that. Let's see if we can pick up on any of that. Yeah, that's good. So, and this obviously that the next 24 hours, Mount Shasta is going to get a bunch more snow. You can barely see, barely see, and then you can see it right there. Sorry about my, I'm having trouble getting this thing to play cool. Okay, that's awesome. That's that's really nice. See that? Um, that's Mount Shasta, and then we'll look at um, Whitney. Uh, let's see, I don't think Whitney's going to show much of anything, so I'm not going to mess with that. And then we have a live camera to look at. This is the Mojave Desert. Temperatures down there will be in the low 90s today. And uh, it's somebody who put out a watering hole in the middle of the desert, you know, probably in their backyard, but that's kind of fun. Leave a camera up there and just watch the birds. I wonder what kind of predators you bring in. You know what I mean? Like, I wonder, like, if you're, <laughs> if I'm in the house watching the camera, watching the birds, and you see some cats around there. Oh, yeah, I love California quail. Oh, that's awesome. What do we got here? Who are you guys? Not a real bird guy, but I like watching them. I just don't know many of them. Okay, so I think we got it figured out. We looked at the um, radar. We looked at the uh, HRRR. Um, today is going to get nicer for pretty much everybody, except for up on the west slope of the Sierra Nevada, which lasts into tomorrow morning. So it's going to be pretty wet up in those fire zones, up in those areas that you worry about fire, like Forest Hill and up in uh, Auburn and um, places like that, Bear Valley. Okay, I'll see you back here tomorrow.